Tonight, state investigators make their way inside a local grocery store after a Help Me Hank investigation revealed a lot of potential dangers. Yeah, Hank's hidden cameras captured discolored meat being sold well past the sell by date. But that wasn't the only issue at Bozix Market and Hamtramck, and that's why state inspectors were quick to act after they saw a report. And in fact, now we're learning more about what was discovered in that inspection. Hank Winchester joins us now, and uh, the state has uh, had some concerns about what was inside, Hank. Absolutely, Devin and Kimberly. In fact, it's all right here in these inspection reports. We heard from so many of you concerned about the meat that was being sold. And remember the fish, buckets of fish in the store, no covers, no protection. It seemed bizarre to me, but the manager insisted at the time it was up to code, but it wasn't. We're back inside Bozix Market in Hamtramck, and once again, our hidden cameras are rolling. We were surprised by what we spotted on this visit, and in a moment, you'll see more of the video. We heard from so many of you after our first report aired. Becky from Highland Park saying, I bought meat there before and it was green. Diane from Hamtramck, thanks for exposing this store. I bought meat there and it worried me. And so many of you disturbed by this video. Fish in a bucket, no cover, no protection from those shopping. Management said at the time, state investigators gave this the A-OK. -okay. We have had inspections with our health inspector and they are perfectly fine with the herring like that. But during a recent inspection, the day after my report aired, the inspector noted this violation. Self-serve fish not completely protected from possible environmental contaminants. Dedicated employee to monitor and assist serve customers with all self-serve items. When I visited the market yesterday, I spotted covers on the buckets and signage, making it clear an employee is now available to assist. When I made my previous visit inside, I noticed many meat products were discolored, some smelled, and several were for sale well after the sell-by date. Local 4 Dr. Frank McGeorge was especially concerned by the discolored meat. Common contaminants on the outside of meat that can get inside are going to be something like E. coli. But you can develop other infections like salmonella. We discovered meat products that were concerning, and the answer from the manager at the time also concerning. Well, we are really busy. It is. I know, but is our biggest season. it doesn't matter if you're busy. You can't sell food that could be a danger to people. And while we were there, we were told that meat would be removed ASAP. Here's what state inspectors found the next day. Hot dogs being sold without labels and being sold in the wrong area. Also spotted meat products sold with dates longer than a reasonable amount of time. Also a violation for a lack of signage to warn people they're in an area where reduced meats are now being sold. The meat products in that area were removed quickly by management. Now we learned about the issues in that market because a concerned viewer emailed me. If you have a story you would like us to investigate, these are all the different ways you can get in touch with the Help Me Hank team. So do state investigators think there's been the kind of progress that they want to see? Yeah there. They were encouraged by the action that was taken the day they right. did that inspection. Yeah. Uh, the market was quick to respond and state inspectors will be back. We will be back if there are issues that people have with that market or any other market. Right. We'd yeah. like to hear from them. Yeah. Hopefully they don't leave the fish out anymore. There that you was go. Just... The bucket. Bucket-o-fish. Yeah. Bucket-o-fish. <laughs> yeah. All, right. All right. Thanks, Hank.